Hi, I'm Jamie from New Bedford Art Museum Artworks, and today I'm chatting with community artist in residence Carl Simmons for very special creative convos. When I think folk, the first thing I think of is like folk art, folk music. Yeah, yeah. And to let's talk about like visual folk art first. Mm. And do you see does that influence your work? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Definitely, some of the local stuff. Uh, uh, Joseph Shoemaker Russell is one person uh, who did some really great folk art of uh, early New Bedford, early, you know, as a town, um, Bedford Village into the city of, um, you know, room views, like, you know, that kind of profile, characters in profile, and um, yeah, that stuff, for the information, you know, pre-photography, um, art, visual art is very precious, you know, uh, for just facts, you know, the facts that we <laughs> just trust, I guess, that, yes, that house looked like that, or sure. best they could, you know, this is a self-taught artist, and um, but also, yeah, just like the folk, um, even out of the area, like, um, you know, the hex signs of Pennsylvania Dutch, that's the sort of symbols, you know, like shapes like that, really, uh, are something that are, that is on my mind a lot when I'm making, uh, making my stuff. Um, I have a reoccurring motif of a, Motif. I don't even know what a motif is. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, a spinny, rainbowy thing. That's yeah. kind of like the beginning of the Muppet Show, too. Sure. Like, you know, that's always going to be there, too. Right. Uh, that was like the coolest thing when you saw that thing going. You knew the Muppet <laughs> Show was going to start. Because folk art, to me, references a place. Um, sure. And a history, and, um, and your work definitely does that. Um, even though it is my favorite thing to do, to stand in front of your videos with, <laughs> with people and be like, this is based on New Bedford history. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, uh -uh. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and then, um, actually something, when I was doing that the other day, someone asked me who the other people are in your uh, videos. Um, and I wasn't sure if they were asking me like who the actors are or like the- the, or the people, characters. Or, or the characters. So, oh, good. Um, what do you have an answer? Yeah, um, it depends on what it was they were looking at, you know. <laughs> sure, my sure. friend, uh, I did work with some other people, uh, you know, my friend Steph, and Danny, and Bridget. There are people in some of my videos, some of the telephone stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, otherwise, I don't know that, gee, uh, it is. Usually me, uh, either photoshopped, doubled, or mm -hmm. uh, just out of ease, you know, out of, uh, yeah, I'm always around. Sure, sure. <laughs> I'm always available. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard to escape yourself, yeah. Um. Um, which, but, you know, even for this space, I will say again, uh, you know, I'm, you know, should I try to get someone else in here, you know, mm -hmm. to, uh, to work with, I, I would love to stop just photographing myself, <laughs> for sure. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's characters. Uh, you know, uh, Joseph Russell is in a piece. Um, I can't think of all the pieces <laughs> right now on the top of my head. But yeah. yeah, a lot of just New Bedford characters that, yeah, oh, I do a lot of stuff with the Arnolds. Like, there's a piece called, uh, you know, the, what is it, like, the fact that that place isn't called the Sarah and James Arnold Mansion is ridiculous. This is the name of the piece. Yeah. Um, it's about the Arnolds, like, up at the top of the hill here, the yeah. Arnold Mansion. And they're just characters that, you know, it's kind of interesting to think of them as like a soap opera. They had a lot of drama in their lives, some pretty rotten stuff, um, but also, yeah, just using them as like a springboard. They had a beautiful garden, so I like to use fake flowers and things like that in my sets. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
it's a good opportunity to kind of recreate that kind of natural landscape artificially. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. The Community Artists in Residence program is a collaboration between the Tomaquag Museum, New Bedford Historical Society, the Immigrants Assistance Center, and New Bedford Art Museum Artworks. To learn more about the program or our current artist in residence, Carl Simmons, please visit newbedfordart.org.